Hello YouTube. This is a 60-inch Vizio uh, big screen TV in our living room, to which I have attached a uh, Intel compute stick. Intel compute stick attached to the to the HDMI port, making it into a extremely smart TV. Now this is the micro USB power input. This one is the only USB port that this uh, compute stick comes with, to which I have added a uh, <coughs> Ethernet cable adapter <coughs> for in for internet input, which works very well. And I also have a uh, 64 <coughs> 64 gig expansion disk in there, micro SD expansion disk in there, and uh, here it is, Intel compute stick in the back of our TV. Because there's only one USB port, which was taken up by the internet, the I use this keyboard. This is a this a Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. Bluetooth mouse for the for the pointer. Of course, it runs uh, Windows eight point one that comes with it. Right now, it's in window Windows eight point one, but I just. I turn on TV today and say, uh, your free window 10 upgrade is ready. So I'm going to install the Windows 10 and see how it works. So I'm going to click this uh, schedule your free upgrade. Window 10 is downloading. Whoop, problem. Says Windows 10 couldn't be installed. Arrows fine, found. Windows update is currently installing other updates. Please try again in a few minutes. Okay, I'll try a few minutes. Try in a few minutes. So I tried again in a few minutes now. Says so it's downloading Windows 10. Gigabyte. It's going to take a little while. Ninety nine percent complete. Okay, downloading is completed. It says preparing for installation. So, download is completed. Now, say check your PC before upgrading. Okay, check your PC. Click. Pick program. Yeah. So accept. It says Windows needs more space. We need 10.2 gigabyte of space on drive C. So let's choose another drive. I have the, the expansion disk. Okay, refresh. Close this window. So it's still downloading. So I guess uh, if you just use the 32 gig of C uh, disk space that comes with the 
uh, Intel compute stick, it wasn't enough. Uh, good thing I have a 64 expansion disk in the micro USD slot, and it's working. So if you want to install to Windows 10, maybe a good idea to make sure you have a disk in that slot. Okay, it says your upgrade is ready to install. The, uh, the upgrade may take a while, but we let you know when it's done. Start the upgrade now, okay. Right here. Click. Okay. Restarting. Restarting again. It's taking uh, over an hour already. It takes a little while. Your PC will restart several times. Sit back and relax. Okay. Still upgrading. This is going very slowly. I start around 5.30. Right now it's 8.20. Okay. Now it's uh, at 50%. And it's already 10, uh, 10, 10 p.m. now. Okay, looks like it's installed. It's Express Settings. Okay, we're back on. Now it's Windows 10 now. This is my home uh, home screen. That's Mount Shasta. And my daughters. And uh, looks like Windows 10 is working. So it's uh, doable. You can you can install Windows 10 on the Intel compute stick. It just takes a long time. It took almost six hours. So this is my uh, Google News page. Windows 10. Was good. So, this is how much disk space I have left. On uh, C, uh, it has 32 gigabyte. I still got 16.3 gigabyte free. And on the expansion card, I still got 51 gigabyte. Plenty to work with.